Today's video is gonna be a bit short and quick and straight to the point. We're gonna be talking about how to fix and repair a dead Twitter. I have a video where I talk about how to keep your Twitter from being blown. I'll put the link in the description box below. But what if my Twitter is already dead? I have an answer for you. Just follow these easy steps. The only tool you might need is a screwdriver, star or flat, depending on the kind of speaker that you have. The next thing you need is a diaphragm replacement for your Twitter, which you will only know after taking out your Twitter and seeing the kind of diaphragm that you need to buy. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. The first step is to remove the back cover, which can be achieved by removing all the screws using a screwdriver. Next we're gonna remove the back cover carefully because there are some wires attached to it and we don't wanna cut them. Now before going any further please note which cable is positive and which one is negative. In our case the white is positive, the yellow is negative. Now we're gonna remove the wires by pressing the pin and pulling the wire out. Our next step is to remove the Twitter from its flare by turning it counterclockwise. Yes, okay, so now this is our Twitter end and I just want to show you how to insert these wires, the mechanism, because you know when we're going to be putting it back in, it's going to be inside there and you won't be able to see. So that is how you put it in and this other one by the way remember the white wire was on the red pin and the yellow wire was on the black pin so i just did them vice versa here be careful of that one so the next thing that we're going to be doing is to remove the screws of this um, thing still on this one we have to be careful and and not to break anything so we're going to just have to to, to remove the screws and screw the anti-clockwise counterclockwise now after loosening all the screws the next thing is to remove this cover slowly and carefully and that is what we have to replace you see that now this is the diaphragm that we're going to use to replace our old one now you're going to have to put this diaphragm into this magnet and do it slowly and carefully until you feel it falling into place into this ridge put back the cover carefully and screw it back on Now the next step is to put this tweeter into the flare, you turn it clockwise after putting it onto that mouth and that's, that's, that's just about it, you turn it clockwise until it's tight enough. By the way, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, it helps with the channel, it helps us reach to many more people. Click that thumbs up and share this video so other people may also learn what you learned today. From here, the next step is to put back the cables where they were, the white to the red, the yellow to the black. And then remember how I showed you, now you're gonna just press the button, slide in the wire. Press the button, slide in the wire, then that's just about it, you're done. And yes, you guessed it right. The next step is to put back the back cover and, and fasten it onto the body with the screws. You know how to do it. I'm gonna turn it clockwise. Yeah, and uh, pretty much that's that's all to it. After here, you just need to plug it in and go ahead and play your sound. Beautiful. Yeah, one more time, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel for more videos and click that notification bell, like the video, comment, and share. Thank you very much.